Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and welcome to another video you guys. So this video I am really excited to do. I'm really just going to be talking to you guys. Clearly you can see by the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking to you guys about ways to instantly upgrade your appearance. I went on a journey myself. Um, it wasn't like I had to do a lot of changes, but it was like minor things that I knew that I just got comfortable with or just let, I don't want to even say slip through the cracks, but it was just things that I personally noticed that I wasn't like putting my all into and felt like that I could do better. And I started small, like doing little small things here and there to really add to what I um, always do because I've always been a person that has kept myself together um, I always like look want to look neat and just like my opinion I always want my appearance to look a certain way my mom raised me like that I if you anybody that knows her knows how she was I used to call her the first lady because of how she dressed I don't care where we went what we were doing she was always like dressed up I don't want to say overdressed because people like I've said in previous videos no matter where I go even if the crowd or even like how people like read the room um no if this is I'm gonna wear what I'm comfortable in or whatever I choose to wear at that moment um it's I'm comfortable in it but it's like overdressed to everybody else then I'm just gonna be overdressed to everybody else because I'm gonna wear what I'm comfortable in I just want to go over some things with you guys that I feel like will instantly upgrade anyone's um, appearance. Of course, the first thing that most people will see when they see you is your hair. So always keep your hair neat. It, that's not to say that your hair, oh, you have to run to the hair salon to always, every week, every two weeks, every month or whatever, you got to constantly go and get your hair done. Now, personally, I'm not the best person at hair lately i have been trying to learn to do more things to my hair i've been very intentional about my hair now right now is an exception i have these two braids right here my hair is pulled back in a sleek bun in the back of my head now this is because i was like okay it's only going to be a few days it'll be okay but i've been intentional about not being lazy with my hair for the last couple of months, I have been styling my hair in a style either every week or every two weeks, depending on how long it lasts. Like I said, you don't have to run to a salon every single time to keep your hair neat. I have a slick back bun and my hair is neat. If you can't do anything else to your head, you cannot miss with just slicking your hair back. It will keep it neat. It will pull it together for whatever the moment is that you need your hair to be neat. Next, I would say nice jewelry. Um, now, I know a lot of people feel certain ways about this. A lot of people feel like your jewelry, um, for it to be considered like nice, um, it needs to be small, like dainty pieces. Um, I wear these earrings a lot that I have in my ears right now. These earrings came from Target. I think I paid $13 for these earrings. I have had this heart necklace right here um the charm itself for i how old is keelan keelan is 20. i have had this necklace for like 17 18 years the charm i just changed the necklace a couple of months ago and i've been wearing it every day because now it's on the shorter one when i had it on kind of like a choker most people feel like your jewelry has to be small and dainty i see it a lot anytime i even watch videos like this they always say get you some dainty everyday jewelry that's not me to me it's a personal preference because a lot of times i see women that are you when you see the videos and they are wearing versus styling when these women have this jewelry on especially gold i'm a gold girl so i always notice the gold jewelry when these women have this jewelry on and it's never dainty it just takes their outfits to another level to me it looks so good but i know most of the time <clears throat> when people feel like when you do appearance videos, they always say have the small earrings, have you a little simple chain, gir nice girly watch, you know, maybe one bracelet. That's not me. I feel like that is whatever your cup of tea is, as long as it looks good, 
like I said, these are my everyday earrings. And then I have like a pair of double hoops in there that are small. This necklace, but my watches are always big. I do not like small watches. Keelan bought me a small one the other day that's like dainty. And um, I'm going to start wearing it eventually. Like when I really dress up, that's what that one's for. But for the most part, I wear this watch. This is big. And then I have an Invicta that has a, it's a gold watch with a blue face. I wear, it's bigger than this. I, I like big watches. I always have... <laughs> on bracelets because i love bracelets that's why i say this to me is like a personal preference because i'm not going to be the girl with little dainty jewelry like my earrings might not be big but i'm going to have on a thousand bracelets and i'm going to have on a big watch <laughs> the jewelry i feel like is people's personal preference it can make or break your outfit or whatever but you just need some on i'll say that okay next is a clean face now if you're like I'm 41 years old and I am struggling with, I guess, hormonal acne, it is worse on this side of my face right here, as you guys can see by the scars. I'm getting it together, but one thing I can say, I have always in my adult age, I keep a face routine, okay? My skin is always going to look together and clean. Lacking in a face routine a lot, a lot of times shows through your skin. It does not have to be anything extensive. It does not have to be anything expensive. Um, but have a face routine that works for your skin just so that your skin will look clean like and look like you are keeping it together. Okay? Like, I don't wear a lot of makeup, and I know people always feel like, oh, just touch it up with a little makeup. I can't say. When you touch your face up with a little makeup, it does pull everything together. And this is coming from somebody who does not ever wear makeup. If I wear makeup, I'm doing it on camera, and I'm pretty much wiping it off. But I'm also able to admit, even as someone who does not wear makeup, makeup completes your outfit. I'm sorry. It just does. So, yes, I go every day with my outfit not being complete. And I'm not talking about a full face of makeup because I'm not doing that early in the morning. But for, for instance, for myself, if I did anything, I would lighten my dark circles. I would smooth out the blemishes that are on my cheeks. I would correct them and put on some blush, lip gloss, and then my little NYX eyebrow, um, clear eyebrow gel, put that on. That is what I mean by it doesn't take much. I'm not saying you have to have on a full beat. I'm not even saying full foundation. Because as long as I do those things, my face will look made up. Blush, lip gloss, keeping your eyebrows neat goes a long way. Again, I love makeup. I have a ton of makeup. So I'm like a makeup girl that doesn't want to do her makeup. But I do know well enough to know that. It pulls your, your outfit together. If I have on a dressy outfit and go out with my plain face, my outfit is not going to look as good as it would look if I had my face done a, at least a little bit. Like I said, lip gloss, blush, neat eyebrows. It does it. With me, I have to add correction under my dark circles because that is what completes mine. And that's it. A little mascara and you'll be good, okay? But it does complete the, the look. It does. I'm sorry. Next is clean and neat nails. <sighs> Ladies, this one that should not be as hard as I feel like it is. <laughs> Cleaning your nails means your hands are being washed. Wash your hands. Keep the dirt and grime from under your fingernails. You do not, this does not mean that you got to go get out and get your nails done. This does not mean that you have to wear nails. This does not mean that you have to paint your nails. This just means keeping your nails clean and manicured. A simple dollar store nail clipper and fingernail file set will do the trick. Wash your hands and keep them trimmed. That's it. Having nails that are length and I, i'm talking because this is these are things that i see having nails that are this nail is this long this nail is short this nail is chipped this thumb is long like nails all different lengths it just we're not gonna look put together with our nails all different lengths clip them down if they break once they start breaking whatever the shortest one is get them as close as you can clip them down file them shape them and keep them clean. That is it. I've always done the filing, shaping, and keeping them clean. But I also was a girly who liked my nails painted. 
but painting them did not work for me because I'm constantly washing my hands, I'm constantly sanitizing my hands, so they were constantly chipping. I got to, of course, I'm not going to walk around. Chip nails, take it off, okay? We're not going to walk around with chip nails, so I was like, okay, how do you need to go to the next step? I went from painting to putting gel on my nails. Loved it, still love it. Um, but I wanted to go in the next step. The next step was adding a little bit, even though I like my nails short, I wanted a little, little, little bit of length. So I started doing poly gel. This allowed me to get a little length and then I like my nails extra square. So that was the main thing. It was like my nails, I was able to grow my gel nails out square, but they still didn't give me the look that I wanted because the gel would eventually start to squeeze my nail together. Like the longer I would wear, have the set on, like, my gel nails were able to go three weeks and then they it would start to squeeze them together so they would be square but squeezed in i was like okay it's not what i want my nails to look like so i started doing poly gel and we have the perfect square nails next we have moisturized lips and skin skin being ashy lips being ashy it just looks like you did not even try when you got up in the morning time so and it doesn't take much moisturizer sunscreen, lip gloss. At this point, the beauty industry is booming so big that there are so many different products that we can use, unfortunately, um, to correct these things. Right now, again, like I said, I'm going through skin issues, but you bet your bottom dollar that I make sure that I am moisturizing my skin. The rule is to apply sunscreen what, every two hours throughout the day. I know that's not easy for everybody because it's not easy for me. But just make sure that you're doing your skincare routines and you're moisturizing your face in the morning time and moisturizing your face at nighttime. Um, lips, get you a lip gloss. It does not have to be. Now this lip gloss that I have on right now is from Tower 28. I love it. It is glossy like a bowling ball. But nobody, everybody didn't want to spend what is it, $18 on a lip gloss. It does not have to be. Get you a NYX lip gloss. Go to Walmart and get you some lip gloss. Put it on and keep rolling. It does not have to be expensive. There are so many reasonable products that we can use um, for those of you that say, well, not yet, all of these things, I can't afford to do all of this stuff. Sis, it ain't got to be expensive. I know we buy all of this stuff and a lot of this stuff is expensive, but just because it has a pretty price tag on it does not mean that it is always worth the price tag and we know that next is proper fitting clothing i cannot express how this one is me like i always tell you guys i have to watch what i wear because i always say if the clothes are wearing me instead of me wearing the clothes it's not gonna look right once i feel like they're wearing me i know that they're not gonna look right i know that they're not gonna fit right i know that i'm not gonna be comfortable in whatever it is if the clothes are wearing me proper fitting clothing a lot of people may feel like they don't want they oh well nadia i don't want to wear my clothes skin tight they don't have to be skin tight for me clothes look better when they fit to my body or when they're form fitting like right now this shirt i have on this is not a tight shirt the material it can't be tight but it does fit to my shape it cinches around the neck it cinches around the waist it has like a little peplum look over the waist just like how it has this look on the sleeves this is the same look that's on the waist i pick clothes like this when i dress myself because when they're too big they just don't look right on me they look like they're wearing me and it ends up looking sloppy so proper fitting clothes will always upgrade your appearance. You guys are going to notice, I, the, well, those of you that have been here, y'all know that I take pride in learning to do all of my beauty treatments myself. So again, facial hair. I clean everything off my face myself. Keeping your facial hair intact keeps your skin looking put together, keeps your face looking put together. No bushy eyebrows. Peach fuzz, we all get it get it out of here <laughs> okay me i grow long sideburns so i have to shave them off i get the derma planning tools everybody don't y'all don't all have to do this but this is me i get the derma planning tools i buy them by the pack i clean my eyebrows up with them i get the peach fuzz off of my lip i shave my sideburns 
every now and then, every few months, I'll dermaplan my face. It just depends on the state of my skin. If I'm breaking out, I don't touch it. If my skin, like right now, my skin is smooth with no active breakouts, this is the perfect time for me to dermaplan, but I just have to make sure that I'm doing it. You just got to make sure that you're doing it right. I don't recommend everybody dermaplan. If you feel like you're going to cut yourself, if you don't trust it, if you're scared, just don't do it. It's not something that you have to do because a lot of times with the naked eye, you can't really see. Like in people, I've seen, I've read what people say, well, I don't have to do that. I don't have hair on my face. Most of us do. You just cannot see it. It is that fine. If I go to the mirror right now and look at my face head on, I can't see it. I have to be in the perfect lighting. It has to be perfect. The lighting, the angle, all of that has to be perfect for me to be able to see it. And it just looks like peach fuzz across your cheeks. Last night, Keelan and I were in the, in the mirror. I was looking at myself in the mirror. I could see it. She was standing next to me, looking at me from an angle on this side. And she was like, um, I can see the hair in your face from this angle. And I'm like, yeah, it just depends on the angle. Next is posture and i know y'all are probably thinking, posture upgrading your appearance yes how you carry yourself when you walk when you sit if you do this for me set up a camera record yourself sitting record yourself sitting like i'm sitting back straight looking from the side now record yourself from the side sitting straight up then record yourself sitting like this and then let me know down below in the comments what you think about posture being added to this list. It makes a big difference. We don't even have to talk about that one. That one will be self-explanatory when you record yourself and look at it. <laughs> Next, we have bras. And I know y'all are thinking, bras upgrading your appearance. People can't even see bras. We can't see the bra that you have on, but we can definitely tell what kind of bra you have on through your clothes. How your boobs sit in your clothes is going to determine how your clothes look. Have you ever tried to try something on without a bra on? It looks horrible, doesn't it? But then you go try that same outfit on with a bra on and you're like, oh, okay, it pulls it together. So imagine having on a bra that has you drooping down. That is the same look that you're going to get from not having on a bra. I'm not saying you have to have on a push-up bra because I, I'm i I'm busty. I don't like push-up bras because I don't want my boobs sitting in my chin, but I do want them sitting up to the point to where they make my clothes look like they are put together. You know what I mean? That's another thing that you can, might be an example for yourself. Try on a shirt and don't put a bra on. Try on a shirt and put on a regular bra that just doesn't. Mm. And then try on a shirt with your best bra on and come back and let me know in the comments what it looks like and how much better your clothes look and fit by having on the right bra. Last but not least, be confident and polite. Polite. Nice. Okay? Being confident instantly upgrades your appearance because. A confident person is a beautiful person. When a person, and when you look good, you feel good. That is the whole reason behind this upgrading your appearance. This is the season where a lot of people get in a funky state. They go through depression. They get in their feelings and all of that. This is the perfect time for you to upgrade your appearance because this is a depressing season for a lot of people. Like I said, you look good, you feel good. When you feel good and when you look good, you exude confidence. That automatically puts you in a good mood. I promise you it does. Just try a few of these things off of this list. You don't have to do everything all at once. Like I said, one thing at a time will get you there. Slow and steady wins the race. You just have to put in the effort to try to change the things. Okay? And like I said, the last one, be kind. You can't be upgraded in your appearance and be ugly at heart being mean please stop women women i'm talking to y'all please stop walking around every day with an attitude for no reason stop being mean i see people online that literally brag about having bad attitudes it is not cute and i don't know what made y'all think that it is 
Because if nobody has done anything to you, why are you walking around with an attitude, being mean to people for absolutely no reason? Like, I feel like, I, I feel like, I see that it are, it's women that literally, like, think that it, I don't know, like, it makes them something, it makes them big and bad, whatever the case may be. To walk around being mean, mean and walk around with an attitude. It's not cute. It's not ladylike. You don't look good doing it. It's not an attractive feature. It's not an attractive feature to women. I know it's not an attractive feature to men. And women will say, well, I ain't trying to be no yes girl. I ain't trying to be no peep me. I'm trying to... This is not about landing a mate, a partner. This is literally about what you look like as a person when you walk around like that and when you're mean for no reason and if you feel like you can't help it yourself you can't change it go see a therapist it is okay we all need therapy <laughs> i'm not walking around mad and mean and angry at nobody and i still need their therapy is healthy okay i am an, an advocate for therapy to the day that i leave this earth everybody needs it okay <laughs> so it's okay if you can't do it on your own Go get help. At least you have to recognize that you are that way. Once you recognize that you are that way, hey, you got a head start. It's okay. Go get a little help. It'll make you feel better. I promise. All right, you guys. That is the end of this video. This is the longest video I have done in a long time. But like I said, I'm enjoying recording these videos. And we're going to keep rolling until I just run out. And that ain't gonna happen because there's so many things up here in this dome, okay? <laughs> Alright, you guys. Let's all upgrade our appearance. 2025 is coming. We're getting a head start. It is November the 7th. I don't have time. New Year, new me. Nope, start right now. Alright, you guys. See y'all in my next video. Which is my Learn video. So see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>